Hello everyone, Zombie here, and welcome to the finale of the JTEC Double Feature. After this, I'll be taking a break from console peasants. There's only so much stupidity I can handle from them. But the final video we'll be taking a look at from JTEC is called PC Lost Another Exclusive. LOL. You know what everyone, I'm just gonna be 100% real here, but this deeply concerns me that my precious platform lost another exclusive. But without further ado, let's go ahead and see what happens when a game comes to its platform. You know what? Credit where credit is due. At least he got a better looking avatar because that last one, holy fucking shit was that thing creepy. So as you guys know, a lot of PC fanboys have been port begging for Death Stranding or spreading rumors about Death Stranding. Oh boy, did this clip just age like fucking milk because, well, Jay, Death Stranding is now on PC, so I don't think those were rumors. Also, fun little side note, JTEC actually cancelled his pre-order once he got found out that Death Stranding was coming to PC. And they're trying to spread some sort of, um lie that the PS4 has lost a lot of exclusives. I've literally heard nobody say that the PS4 has lost a lot of exclusives. I, I, I've i literally heard nobody say that in my entire time on Twitter. Hell, even on YouTube I never heard anybody say that. Uh, but they always ignore the amount of exclusives that were only on PC that have came to the PS4. Wait, so games that were only on PC are now on PS4? That's great! That means more people get to play it, that's a good thing! And on top of that, that'll mean more money for the developers, so... Yay! Everybody wins! Uh, the amount of games that the PC community has lost as an exclusive is... is unheard of. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Literally, nobody cares other than you, Jay. However, we got a brand new game that was only on PC, made specifically for PC. It was only found on Steam. Wait, Jay, can you please repeat that last little part? It was only found on Steam. Funny as you would say that it was only found on Steam because, well, here's a listing on GOG, CD Projekt Red's PC storefront, so... No, it only wasn't on Steam. But then again, you know so little about the PC in general that you only think Steam and the Epic Game Store are the only storefronts on PC. And now, it's on the PS4. It's called PC Building Simulator. Oh shit, Jake, you should really be careful of this game. This actually might get people interested in building a PC, and you don't want that. You only want people to play on PlayStation, because you know, Sony is the best. The game is already marked down on the first day that it was put on the PlayStation Store. Uh, it's 10% uh, off if you have PlayStation Plus. You can get it for $17.99. On Steam right now, it's still $19.99. I think that developers do this because people on PC don't buy their games. Oh great, this classic argument from Jay that PC gamers don't buy games. Brilliant. And to touch on the sale part really quickly, Griffin Gaming brought up in his video, so I'll paraphrase what he said here a little bit. Essentially what the devs are doing is that they're making the game appear in the new release section and the discount section, so in turn, that'll be more revenue for them. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually kinda smart. No matter if it's a game specifically made for PC gamers, it well, it doesn't matter. They're putting it over here because they're not making any money over there. Okay, but why were they even ported the PS4 in the first place if they aren't making any money on the PC? Listen, Jay, I know that brain of yours is kinda small, but have you ever thought of this ports need money? Because in order for the devs to port it to your platform, they kinda need the dough, otherwise it would be a waste of resources. I come to the point that there are games like Yakuza, Neo, Crash Bandicoot that went from PS4 to PC Developers don't give you any updates on how good it's selling on PC because it's not selling on PC. Really? Games don't sell on PC? Then how come I have these sales numbers disproving your entire claim? Hell, I even have sales numbers for Horan Zero Dawn and that only recently came out. It's very obvious we buy games, JTEC. It may not be in the millions, but we do buy games. End of fucking story. So, the next time a PC fanboy gets in your face, Ask them, do you know how many games you've lost as an exclusive on your platform of choice? That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. I think this filthy Frank clip will sum up my point perfectly about how much people care. Shut the fuck up, no one cares. 
Nobody cares, JTech. The only one that cares is you. Most gamers in the first place don't even give a flying fuck about exclusives. You only care if a game is exclusives just so that you can have bragging rights and rub it into people's faces. But once that gets taken away, you start throwing a tantrum like a spoiled five-year-old. Oh my fucking god, you really are pathetic, JTech. Of course they want Death Stranding. Well, we already got Death Stranding. They see Sony all over it, they're all over it. They wanted Horizon Zero Dawn when they saw it. And we now have Horizon Zero Dawn. Also, thanks for beta testing for it. They wanted Bloodborne when they saw it. They wanted God of War when they saw it. They want The Last of Us Part 2 when they saw it. Given that Sony announced that they're interested in porting more first-party games to the PC, it's only a matter of time. But you can keep The Last of Us Part 2. Nobody wants that garbage. They want our games. They know our games are more quality than the shit that's on play on the, on the Steam store. Or maybe, and follow me here, JTech, I know it's very, very hard for you. Maybe you just want more games to be on the PC because Sony can benefit from it and Sony can make more money and people will be able to play Sony's first party games on a PC or a PlayStation. Everybody wins. And for the final fucking time, it's not Steam store, it's Steam. We know that. Because we're getting the games that they had on Steam Store and we see their garbage. We skip them every week. Please don't say we, JTech. You make it sound like a hive mind. It's, it's, look. Uh, Genesis is a MOBA game. Um, also, PC fans say we don't have MOBAs. We have tons of MOBAs. We have tons of MMOs. We have tons of simulators on the PS4 that were first on Steam. Well, that's good. That means you get more games to play. You guys lost so many exclusives, you don't even want to keep track of it, because it's embarrassing. Now, most of us just don't care about childish bullshit, like games being exclusive. Ancestors Legacy, and I did this research before recording this video. <laughs> Console peasants doing research. <laughs> uh, Ancestors Legacy was first on Steam. Gravity Duck was first on Steam. Um, Genesis was first on PC. Uh, Tactics v Obsidian Brigade first on PC. Oh, we, we already know PC Building Simulator was first on PC. That is one, two, three, four, five. That's five games. And why am I supposed to care again? That I know of right now. I still have to do research on the rest of all of these other games. Oh, please. You can't even do research. That's five games. And just one PlayStation Store update today. Fucking today. Each week you guys lose more than six. Maybe. Maybe way more than that. Shut the fuck up. No one cares. The fact of the matter is it is horrible that you guys are talking about anybody losing anything. You guys lose everything. Every fucking week. What are we losing? We still have access to these games. We can still play them. In fact, the only thing they do lose is their exclusivity. And that's a good thing. Like, for example, Killing Floor 2, one of my favorite games. It originally only released on the PC, and then a year later, after its official launch, it came to the consoles. But I didn't hear about PC gamers losing their minds and acting like children when that game went to consoles. And I've been saying this throughout the entire video, it's because nobody cares. Every fucking week. I want to talk about the fact that when we get... The Last of Us Part 2 release date and a new gameplay video because the last gameplay video just was was off the fucking charts. It was amazing, right? We're going to see PC fans saying it's not fair that PS4 keeps this game exclusive. And it probably was an extremely low number because, you know, a small petition somehow represents all PC players. Oh yeah, it's side topic, but JTech takes a look at change.org petitions and passes that off as all PC gamers are port begging for this game, even though the number is extremely, extremely low. The Last of Us Part 2 shouldn't be exclusive to the PS4 because PC fans believe they deserve the game, even though they don't support the company that makes the game. And the company that makes the game makes the hardware that the game is made on. They decide where they want to sell the game. They want to sell the console. So that game is on that console specifically. But according to PC Logic, you should put the games that you make on everybody else's competitor pl uh, platform, including the PC.
Oh boy, we got a lot to dissect here. Let's take this piece by piece. 1. I can understand Sony investing in the game because they own the studio. And I can understand them using the game to push units. Two things though. 1. They're releasing the game towards the end of the PS4's life cycle. So it's kind of pointless to push units when next gen is on the horizon. 2. The PC is not a competitor to Sony. The PC is an open platform. Nobody owns the PC. Because they want to play it. But they won't pre-order it day one. They're against pre-ordering games day one. They're against buying games day one at full price. This is just my opinion, but I say mostly avoid pre-ordering and day one purchases. The only time they can pre-order or do a day one purchase is if the developer is trusted and will release an optimized game on launch. Hell, that's why I have Cyberpunk 2077 pre-ordered on GOG. So what happens when a game like Neo, Yakuza, and Crash Bandicoot head over to the PC? Well, they're not going to pre-order it once they get the information that it is actually hitting over there. And it is confirmed. No. And they're not going to buy it once the release date actually comes. They're just going to wait. How the fuck do you know that? Do you have any numbers? Do you have any evidence? I could only preach for myself in this case, but I made quite a few day one purchases on the PC. They're just going to wait. Majority of them are going to forget the game is even on their store, and they're never going to buy it. Some are going to pirate it. Some are waiting for a cheaper price, like $5, because they're all broke. Wow, aren't you an asshole. But these are the facts. If you speak facts, then I'm secretly a fucking millionaire. You guys lost the big exclusive. Ha ha, fucking ha. And that's how JTEC ends his video, by being an utter fucking asshole. Jeez, the fanboyism has really rotted his brain. Anyway, this concludes the end of the JTEC double feature. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to know when I upload, you can do two things. One, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon. Or, you can follow me on Twitter. It's linked down below. I'm ZombieFan, and I'm gonna go get drunk because I need a break from fanboys for a while.